I've worked. English kids. Parents would send the kids to us and jet off for the season. One kid bounced wrong on a bed messing about and flew through a window, lacerating his liver and almost bleeding to death. He was in hospital for two months with various complications before being moved home. The parents never came to visit, never even spoke to him. After two weeks, his au pair or something came for about three hours. Some of those kids were little bastards, but it was very clear why. 7. We were sitting down at the table about to sign a contract, and his assistant forgot the pen. Apparently, this pen has signed all the deals that were successful in his early career. And made him who he is, so he doesn't sign any deals without it. So he legit tells her to get on the jet, and bring it him immediately. He apologized for the inconvenience by adding 20% to the deal. Money isn't an actual thing to wealthy people. It's all a made-up concept of unlimited one second and zero second. 8. My friend was a security guard for an elderly widow of a Dallas oil baron who lived on White Rock Lake. She had a full-time private chef and kitchen staff, although she lived there alone. He said the chef would cook huge beef roasts, turkeys, brisket, and all kinds of food every day just to have it available in case the old lady wanted something, which she rarely did. They weren't allowed to give the leftover food away to the staff or anyone else but had to throw it out every single day. And when the old lady requested ice water or iced tea or lemonade. If even one ice cube had cracks in it, she would make them throw it all out and make it again. 9. The CEO of a company I used to work for offered to take me wine tasting. She said it'd be free. Apparently, she spends so much money on wine from this vineyard that they get her a limo and free access or tasting whenever she feels like it. 10. Lots of pill popping to handle stress especially before speaking engagements. People always viewed them as friendly, engaging, and fun. Little did they know that was a public persona thanks to copious amounts of Ativan. In real life, they were picky, obstinate, difficult, and a nightmare for all of us employees to deal with. We had to remember all of these particular preferences and abide by them always. 11. Custom cabinets made and installed only to be taken down and tossed in the trash. Because they decided the color they picked out wasn't the right vibe. 12. 
saw a prince of Saudi Arabia in the early 90s throw money in a way beyond all imagination. Dropped about $100,000 for a single dinner for him, his wife, and his two children. Shutting down the fine dining restaurant in our hotel costs $30,000 for one night. He flew in his favorite chef from New York to Florida where the hotel is. Made enough food for our entire restaurant staff, his family, and the security staff. From state, local, and federal forces he had with him and tipped us a ridiculous amount too. He stayed at our hotel every year for several years and rented the top four floors of the hotel for a month. He had one 747 for himself and another for his staff, which numbered around 400 people. 13. My boss has a wooden covering to what once encased an ancient Egyptian mummy. He is elderly, and we were preparing items to be shipped to his daughter, who lives overseas. We didn't send it because it is a known stolen artifact and will be confiscated at customs. old for Lego and I was One, I work at a private social country club. Our members are billionaires and triple-digit millionaires. They playfully discuss their jets like poor people discuss streaming services. Apparently one member had $60 million plain bragging over one member with only a $45 million dollar jet. When we have weddings at the country club, the tents we usually use cost more than $200,000. I feel so poor there sometimes but I am also more content with my life and have true self-awareness. 22. I got stiffed by the super wealthy. They didn't feel like paying me, so they didn't. And they got away with it because I was poor and powerless and scared. 
shitless to take on someone who could whoop my ass in court or even socially. 23. I was a nanny for landed gentry the title of sir and lady get handed down to the eldest child, along with the manor house and lands. Kids were packed off to boarding school at 8. It was heartbreaking. The middle child was dreading it tears every night, literally sobbing himself to sleep in my arms. Parents' attitude was, we were like that too, so he has to do it. The youngest was two at the time and would always prefer me to his actual mom. He fell over once and came to me for cuddles and kisses, didn't even glance at his mom, who was standing right next to me. She didn't seem bothered. The thing is, the parents were actually pretty nice people, just not bothered about child raising in any way. At least they didn't insist I use their titles, like some of their friends did with their staff. 24. I've worked for a few billionaires. One owned a box at the local concert venue. He would give seats to us sometimes. His crew was backstage with all the best bands. Another one started his company and brought in his friends and family on the ground floor. He would pit them against each other in board meetings. He was bored. One founder would have an HR watcher assigned to him at the amazing company parties and steer him away from the pretty ladies. Wife 1, 2, and 3 were all former employees. 25. I'm a graphic designer. I was designing an annual report for a very wealthy owner of a private equity firm. And he wanted me to match the colors of the book to the interior of his private jet. 26. A colleague made an offhand comment about her kids needing red t-shirts for an art project at school. She said she was going to run into Lord and in Taylor or Bergdoff's to get a cheapy shirt. Me in my head, normal people go to Walmart for cheapy shirts. 27. The CEO of our company routinely orders catered lunches or has his chef cook food for contractors and various vendors that work within his home. His big thing is cheeseburgers. At any given moment, he's sending one of his staff to buy cheeseburgers or he's having his chef cook them. Everyone thinks he's so nice for offering them lunch while on the job, but from his own mouth, 